Hello and welcome. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how you can use Wii Chorus 2 add-on to manage your DPS and defensive cooldowns better. From here you can see that I have my main spells and abilities bars hidden. All the spells on these bars has a key bind to it, which will be displayed by Wii Chorus when it is off cooldown. Now let's look into my settings. I'm using the Wikor's dynamic group setup to prioritize my spells. To the left is my DPS priority and cooldowns, to the right is my defensive priority and cooldowns, and the bottom is for general utilities. The middle portion here is my health bar and my pet if I'm playing a class that has one. To the right is my target and focus target HP bar. The sign or text next to the spell icons indicates the key bind. This for example is the top left mouse button. My highest priority ability here is Rebuke, which is my interrupt. This icon will only pops up when my target is casting an interruptible spell and my interrupt is off cooldown. Now let's take a look on how this works in combat. As you can see here, some of the icons in the rotation are only visible when I selected an attackable target. From this bottom setup you can see that I do not have any food buff active. I also do not have any battle or guardian elixir up. So let's sort that out. For the battle and guardian elixir, I used this item to buff up. The last icon at the bottom here is my speed buff. As you can see, the icon is not visible the moment it is on cooldown. Now let's hit the target dummy in order to see the dynamic group in action. As you can see here, the icons keeps changing based on which ability is not on cooldown and how high they are on my priority order. You can check websites such as Icy Veins to see your ideal rotation, or you can set them according to your playstyle and preference. Now let's try some of these defensive abilities. At the top here is my trinket use. The S in the keybind represents the shift button. The UI on the keybind indicates that I need to mouse over the player UI in order to cast the spell. For example, the blessing of spell wording here is applied to a player when I mouse click the top right button on that player's unit frame. Since I'm not in a party or raid, let's self-cast by using my own character unit frame. You can set these type of mouse bind by using another add-on called Cleek. This WH key bind represent my mouse wheel. Let's try and cast this blessing of freedom on my bodyguard. Alright, now let's look into how to do this week or setup. Open up your week or interface and go ahead and create a new dynamic group and named it accordingly. A newly created dynamic group will not have anything in it and you can't create anything in the group directly. From here, what you need to do is create a separate week or a trigger for a spell. In this example, let's create one for Judgment.
Once done, click on the move icon to move it into the dynamic group created earlier. Click on the plus icon to expand the group. The setting for judgment that I have just moved into the group is currently the only alert available in the group. First let us finish up the alert by entering the correct trigger. In the display tab box, put in your key bind for that spell. Mine is set to keyboard number 5. Change the red text accordingly to display the icon for that spell. I can also set the alert to only show when I'm playing a paladin. And now I have completed the alert for judgment in the dynamic group. To create another alert in the group, simply right click on the existing setup and duplicate it. For example, here I created another alert which is for Avengers Shield just by changing the spell trigger and rename it accordingly. Don't forget to change the keybind display as well. Now that we have two alerts in the dynamic group ready, we can simply move the spell priority by clicking the up and down arrow. Let's make another duplication and this time for the spell, Consecration. Same as before. I need to change the keybind display and the spell trigger accordingly. To change the icon size, click on the dynamic group and go to the display tab. Here, you can change the display size to your own preference and drag it anywhere on your screen. Now let's see if our new settings is working properly. Clicking on an attackable target, you can see that the setup for consecration is not showing. That's because Consecration doesn't require a valid target to cast, and the duplicates that we made earlier has the trigger selected. Let's make the correction now. Now we find that Consecration icon is always up even when no target is selected. To hide it, set the display to show only during combat. From here all you need to do is simply repeat the process for your defensive cooldowns and utilities. Hopefully this guide can improve your gaming experience. Thank you for watching. Good luck and have fun.